All right, I'm going to stay loving light. Everyone, you guys are seeing through the fog here. And soon, people around you are going to start seeing that you're chosen and you're anointed. They're going to start seeing how powerful you are. But I would like to see you all love like abundance and prosperity, of course. Okay. If you all would like um, a personal reading with me, you got to tomorrow. <clears throat> okay. So, um, well, by the time you guys see this, it's going to be past tomorrow. So, just forget about that. Readings are closed. <laughs> but it's 111 right now, too. So, shout out to 111. Y'all been seeing 111. Spirit wanted me to say shout out to 111. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys been... New 111 is all about new beginnings. So, maybe you guys been focusing on, like, new beginnings and stuff. <sighs> so, let's see. Somebody who you recently ghosted, they are receiving karma. All right. Your DM could be facing some karma right now. They could be facing some legal issues. This could be, like, financial issues, too, I'm seeing. Maybe those financial issues is going to lead to um, court. Wow, listen, a third party put some hexes on your, your person. Put a lot of hexes and jinxes on your person so they won't prevail. All right, somebody been talking crap here with this clout hungry, says anything, does anything, makes shit up dramatic. I don't know. Wow, there's a lot of drama, a lot of female drama here. There's a lot of female drama. You have a spiritual hater attacking you because she feels like you clout hungry here. All right, she's wasting her time. Spirit already told her she's wasting her time. <laughs> she's a waste of time. Next, your person is receiving bad karma for having you in a third party. And I feel like the third party could have been striking your person because of whatever they said to the third party. And it could have been in defense of you. And they put a whole bunch of hexes, jinxes, and curses on your person and their finances and their stability. All right, now, what I'm also getting is that y'all had a few people trying to be an impersonator here. You had a few people trying to get your kids taken away from you. All right, some people even try to kidnap your children. They all receiving bad karma. All right, I feel like their bad karma is that they waking up to the same shit every day. And I feel like whatever they spoke out against you is manifesting for them. Somebody is looking you up constantly every day. Every day they look you up. They check out your um your page. If you have a YouTube channel, they check out your channel. Every day they, they research you. Seeing what are you doing, spying. It's more like spying than researching. All right, we have, yeah, they be reflecting here. Somebody is reflecting on how they're... Actions backfired, even if this is like their spiritual um their spiritual attacks, like their black magic. Somebody's realizing that their black magic backfired. That's why they've been all in their head lately. Somebody is like just in a daze here. Or gaze. I think it's gaze. Alright, they just like just stuck. Stuck on stupid. I, oh my god. I'm stumbling over my words a lot. So <laughs> that's Legba again. Uh so yeah, Legba could be, you know, attacking this person making them reflect okay you have an obsessed lover on the loose that's what spirit just said all right yeah somebody in their head man it was a female all her spell work backfired on her she it's like she's been all in her head lately she just been like all in her head literally reflecting on her actions in her mind it could be straight hell like when she she may have nightmares and stuff because she was doing spell work on you trying to steal your energy and your ancestors are teaching her a lesson about trying to steal your your energy i feel like this person don't like it but you know they they're seeing like they're getting back to cinders like your ancestors are kicking their behind all right and it's not that you're sending it it's spirit all right, so we have offer here. Somebody wants to somehow give you an offer. Let's get one more. This, for some of you guys, this is a fake friend. So they want to come in with an offer here. Happiness hater. This person's a happiness hater. <sighs> you, moved, you moved away from them because it was being a happiness hater. All right, and they've been stalking you ever since. I don't know why they want to give you an offer, but they still being a hater. All right, or they want to give you some tea about someone. Let me get one more about this. Dirty, I can't make it up. They want to give you some type of offer. And look, we have dirty offer. So it's like they're still the same. Yeah, they into you, but they still going to be plotting on you. All right? If, if they Listen, they haven't learned their lesson. It's just because they're lonely. That's the only reason why they want to come back towards you. All right, we have drama starter. Let's clarify that. We, yep, somebody was talking about you. 
you know, speaking ill intent against you. Not ill intent. What I'm saying, like speaking ill, wrong, like bad things. All right, low IQ. <laughs> Low IQ. I feel like this is what's happening with this person. All right. I feel like you guys were being cyber bullied by people online. Okay. You guys could be public figures and you have people just doing rituals on you, attacking you online here. And I feel like whoever this person is, they are in, they are denying it. They denying it heavy, but their mind is scattered. And you see how I've been stubbing over my words a bit. It's not that much, honestly, but I noticed it. I don't like it. It's an insecurity of mine. All right, but I feel like somebody's mind is scattered. Like, they can't think straight or they're overthinking way too much. Like I said, they're thinking a lot. They're in their head all day. All right, they're losing, like, brain cells or parts of themselves. But with that brain, I'm getting, like, they're losing their memory. They could be losing their mind, but they're losing their memory here. All right, and if this person smoke weed, it's really going to affect them negatively because their crown is weak. All right, so... Whatever the weed is sending towards them is not going to strengthen their crown. It's going to weaken it, and it's going to put them in fear, anxiety, worry. All right, and it's going to mess up their brain cells. It's going to be a negative effect. That's what I'm picking up. That's only if this person's smoking. That's not for everyone. All right, I feel like this is for the person who you're dealing with, okay? Not for you. Fishing for comments. Yeah, this person be watching your comments, fishing your comments here. What does fishing for comments mean again? Let me look it up because I know it means something else than just watching, watching someone comment. Hold on, my Google Chrome is taking a minute to come up. They open up all these old pages. Why did it do that? Comments. Okay, so usually done by a desperate girl to any guy she meets and is slightly interested but not always necessary flirting and where she asks him close-handed. Okay, so this could have been a female, like I said, but it didn't... What does fishing for comments mean? Trying to get people to say nice things about one. She's always fishing for comments. Hmm. This could be like a Jezebel. And she be hawking other dudes' pages and stuff. You know, she be trying to get, you know, I, I'm getting that she she interact with these men to, you know, and like maybe like their pictures, stalk their page, hawk their page, you know, may like multiple of their pictures so they can inbox her. Okay, so she can like allure, lure him in. I'm saying allure, lure him in. Like she be taking screenshots of, of 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 dudes' messages and stuff. Like I don't know, she got a lot of dudes in her phone. Whoever this is, and that could be another reason why she's jealous of you, because you're more stable and you're you're a divine feminine. And she, compared to you, she's she's a Jezebel, so she's feeling insecure. That's another reason why she was spiritually attacking you and your person. She was like, F it. I don't want you and your person to be happy, even though your person had nothing to do with it. All right? Let's get one more. It's like, and it's, I'm hearing dumbbell. She She's going to be a dumbbell. Where it's like, she's going to be like a, no offense to blondes. I love blondes. I love everybody. But I'm getting that stereotype. It's like she's going to have to look things up just to figure things out. Okay, yeah, I just looked something up, fishing for comments, but I didn't really understand fishing for comments. I didn't feel like it was because this person is watching your comments. And I never really understood fishing for comments, even when I heard it back then. I always thought somebody watching your comments. <laughs> like, but no, this person is, like, seeking comments, okay? With that fishing, I'm getting seeking. They're seeking comments. So they would like Per certain male photos, multiple ones to persuade them into inboxing her so she can get stuff out of her. Or she would even just, you know, give a little bit too much, be a little bit desperate, you know, give her that, give off that desperate energy so she can get her way. It's a Jezebel, but uh, I, I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Broke. Uh, yeah, she's broke. The, the car broke ass came out. She ain't got no money, so she be using men for money. Whoever this Jezebel is, this broke Jezebel. Is reflecting on all her dark magic. She's realizing, like, you know, she ain't got no money. She may have to use a bit, a few niggas, go out on a few dates. Whoa, yeah, but these niggas going to be uninterested. If she's, like, an escort or, like, a sex worker or something, I don't know how y'all came across somebody like that. This could have been a secret. She's going to be getting, her dates are going to be denying her. Or they're going to be like, no, I don't want to go out. Oh, gosh, a phone call came. Let me turn my, turn my phone on airplane. Let me see. Yeah, but this is a Jezebel gone wrong. Okay, 
Yeah, I, and Rejected came out. I can't make these cards up. I'm interested in Rejected Marion for money. I can't make it up. Player, I'm telling you, this this person be traveling to go on dates with dudes to go make some money. All right, and that's going to stop. Okay, because those dudes gonna be rejecting her, maybe for other people. Like if she got like a group of friends who are like Jess Bells and they just be out here, you know, being like a little escort, they gonna be choosing the friends over her. Just wait on it. That's yeah, this person always partying. If they ain't partying, they being an escort. Okay, like <laughs> Like, I don't understand, like, fake smiles and family issues. This could be your family. Y'all having issues in the family right now because of this Jezebel. All right, I feel like for some for some of you guys, someone in your family is just having a hard time seeing that this person is an escort. And all they do is party and have and use guys for money. Like, that's literally what they do. <laughs> they got a Jezebel spirit. That's why they always in freaking love triangles and heartless. All right, and always around their karmic friends. All right, because they, they all the same. They all got the same type of spirit Jezebel spirit all right so you need to be careful if this is like your family and if this is your friend and you realizing that they have a whole bunch of other toxic friends that do the same thing it's because they Jezebel okay <laughs> I'm laughing because people could be laughing at this person now like this person is a is goofy like people gonna start laughing at this person from the stupid sh stuff that they're gonna be doing you're divinely guided here you being divinely guided towards someone or towards the reconciliation I feel like if you've been waiting for somebody, that person's going to come back to you, you know, once they've grown and mature. Spirit is exposing a lot of people at this time. About to be one, two, tweet, one, two, three. So that's confirmation. Who's on Twitter? Because I'm going to say tweet. Tweety Bird, you guys Hi. like Tweety Bird? You, like, you guys like Sweetie? Or you guys are on Twitter? Who are you talking to on Twitter? Are you talking to someone on Twitter? I'm getting spiritual groups on Twitter. Okay, y'all can find different soul type members on on social media groups and stuff you know i started off on groups now i got my own platform <laughs> and i plan on reopening up my group y'all when i created that group and i hope this person's not watching me because i don't want you in my energy that person did a ritual so that group can fail i felt that person energy and i heard what they were saying to that other person that was conspiring against me. They did a whole ritual so nobody can't come to my group. They were doing picture magic on my channel. So that's why the group energy was just bad. But I plan on reopening up the group again when the time is right. All right. That was just a test. All right. And no, I don't look at it as a fail because the group is still up. It's just the energy went sour because of that person. But that was one, two, three. So let's um, keep going, y'all. I got to go and like... 15 minutes therapist wow someone needs to needs to visit a therapist and purity purify your in, your aura and energy somebody some of you guys may need to go to a, a therapist to purify your energy you may need to talk to someone this could even be like a spiritual practitioner a spiritual coach or a spiritual life coach or i'm getting a spiritual leader some of you guys may be seeking help from other spiritual advisors this could even be like um you may be going to like some type of yoga retreat or you're doing like some 30-day yoga challenge what I'm also getting for some of you guys is that ayahuasca. Some of you guys are being guided to do like ayahuasca here to do um, something tied in with shamanism. Like you're doing some type of deep um, spiritual healing and I'm getting sexual healing. Some of you guys may have some sexual traumas or sex demons. And you're like, I need to go to like a spiritualist to get this removed to clear up my energy. That's a good idea. If you've been thinking it, that's a really good idea. Spirit is guiding you to do that because you need to purify your soul. And a soul retrieval, a shaman, shamanism will help you with that. All right. So, yeah. Stubborn. Yeah. Don't listen. Don't be stubborn. Don't be stubborn. And I feel like there's someone around you that could have been stubborn. You trying to teach them the ways of light I'm getting, you know, how to heal with, with magic and, you know, with um spirituality. And this person could have been a bit stubborn. I don't believe in that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But now they do because they're going through some shit. And they feel like y'all meant to be. This person was under some type of confusion spell. All right. I feel like somebody is getting a new job. You could be getting a new job. All right. You're going to be getting hired soon. That's happening behind the scenes. A lot of things are going to be balancing out for you. And a lot of people are going to be coming to apologize to you. All right. I'm hearing for what they did to you. Yeah. Look, cleanse. Uh, oh, my God. Your person or whoever around you, they need a spiritual cleansing. All right. They need some spiritual healing, too, because um, I'm getting purified, cleanse, guidance therapists. They need they are being divinely guided to like ayahuasca or um. What's going on my, with my Google? 
they're being guided to like ayahuasca or like going to like a spiritual practitioner or spiritualist all right reiki um something that's going to help and you guys could be doing the same thing y'all could be doing it the same thing for yourself you and your person could both be thinking of the same all right so that's good if you guys are connected with your divine counterpart okay I don't know why my YouTube channel was un uh, it was logged out. I don't know who I logged out. Somebody could have unsubscribed to my channel. Oh well, bye bye. I don't see any unsubscribes, but it's okay if they did. Or if you have a channel somebody's unsubscribing or somebody's doing spell work so people can um unsubscribe from you. I don't know. All right, anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me just keep going. I'm going to cut that long pause out. But you guys are being guided to purify your soul. This could even be getting, like, um, an exorcism. Whoa. Jumping to conclusions, that came out. So some of you... <laughs> All right, so maybe some of you guys feel like I don't need an exorcism. Or maybe that's what Spirit is saying. It's not that serious. All right, but y'all need to get a soul purge. Uh, exorcism is is a soul purge, okay? It's, a, it's another form of soul renewal. renewal. All righty. I feel like if you told this to your person, they was like, I don't need none of that. I don't need none of that. But yet their soul is guiding them to, to spiritual healing, to soul healing. They need soul retrieval. They gave, they could have gave up their soul parts to so many different entities and spirits that this person needs to get their soul back. Look, skeletons, bro. There is like, but this skeletons, I'm getting their, their, their soul is, is like locked up somewhere. They need to get their damn soul back. All right, they could be tied up with a bunch of skeletons. This could be like a bunch of hexes and shit. This could be bad juju, all right? Somebody could have skeletons in their closet or demons in their closet. Secrets are about to be revealed here. I feel like you could have revealed to this person that they need to purify themselves, all right? And, you know, you could it could have left them in a fork in a row. Like, do I really need to? Maybe I do need to cleanse myself because this is happening, that is happening, this is not working out, that's not working out, you're saying this. You're saying that. So they, they could be considering that. Yeah, somebody have addictions. All right, somebody is like, somebody could be addicted to like sending demons and shit or doing, <laughs> or doing magic on you as a whole, trying to like keep you controlled through magic and witchcraft. Okay, we did pick up that, that scary bit, bitch. Okay, I'm getting two energies. Her energy is scary, like she's dark as hell. And, or she could be scared of you. All right. Because she know what she, she can't look you in the eye. She know what she did. And when a person can't look at you in the eyes, it's guilt. It's fear. They fear you. All right? They feel your growth, how strong you are. You will grow from this situation. You're growing. Somebody's getting tarot readings done on you. All right? Somebody was doing um, spell work to, um, to, like, cloak you and your person's connection in a sense of, it's like, it will just be full of darkness. All right? It will just be full of misery and turmoil. It was almost, like, su supposed to separate y'all and break y'all up. Okay? It was not supposed to, um help you we're supposed to separate y'all we have life purpose leave it behind yeah somebody was even doing spell work for you to leave your life purpose behind i feel like you have families around you family members that would just like leave your life purpose around forget that life purpose stuff forget that spiritual stuff f that just live your life no nah, like that's negative and you could be having a, a, a higher you could be seeing things from a higher perspective and seeing this seeing that person from like a new view like why would you give me that advice shouldn't you want to focus on spirituality shouldn't you want to grow your spirit and, you know, this person is probably just like, I don't give a fuck about that. All I do is just live life. They could be ungrounded. They just here, there, and everywhere. All right? <clears throat> Seeing things from a new perspective grow. Yeah, a lot of you guys are realizing that you need to grow and change. And even your person is realizing that they need to grow and change. They need to um, upscale, I'm getting. Yeah. It's like your person is realizing if they, they want to be with you, they got to, you know, turn it up a notch. All right? In a sense of ascend, do better, and become more... Um, tough or like stronger not saying that they're weak but it's like spiritually their soul 
oh my god again soul retrieval is needed because a lot of people or entities took over this person's soul i feel like your person is realizing the way that they was going is just the wrong way it's not the right way yeah they listen they're doing a lot of self-reflection they're taking a moment to reflect a lot of reflection is going on right now self-reflection even with you even you are taking moments to reflect here and you're realizing that you had a copycat ass bitch around you that didn't want you to persevere in life did not want you to be strong did not want you to fulfill your life purpose and it could have been a family so you seeing things better and you're like i'm about to get up out of this energy i'm about to focus on new energy and i'm about to grow up out of this yeah you're about to celebrate i feel like you just had people around you that just had a hard time seeing you happy because they're not happy with themselves you could be around a lot of depressed people that's like obsessed with taking people down and that's like i feel like somebody have a weird obsession with um you know cutting cords you know with people in their life and destroying people life sending hexes and shit and i feel like that was something that was kept in their closet that got revealed okay it's almost like some light was shed on this person ego aka that dark side of them that was doing this they have an obsess obsession they love to cut cords that's why they always cleansing themselves because they be doing some spell work all right a family member around you is doing that a toxic ass family the toxic family came out they, they be doing um spell work okay Somebody be astral projecting to you. I feel like a toxic family member, they be sending you spiritual attacks and demon attacks here. I'm getting that. Yeah, look, you're inspirational to someone. I feel like it's because you're, it's someone around you that they don't like. All right, you could be dating someone and they're jealous of that person and they could be sending you and that person demons, all right, to scare you guys and to run y'all two away. That's an obsession of theirs. They just love to do it. They love to send demons after people. It, it, it They just love hearing that somebody is falling apart. <sighs> that's that's an evil person you have a wicked person around you and what i'm also getting is that you inspire this person to you know do good in life right but it's like even though you give even though you inspire them they envy your your power and your energy and they they want it so that's why they do what they do all right they're a copycat they still they love to steal people energy they love to cut cords and steal energy and say that other people is doing it once they get caught, right? Oh, no, it wasn't me. It was this person. They could have even blamed the person who taught them. I'm getting that there's like a practitioner that they could have learned this shit from. And you could have caught them spiritually attacking you. And you may know this practitioner. And they're like, oh, it was that one. It wasn't, it wasn't me. It was them. And it, damn for what was this damn person. It was their idea, Spirit is saying. Let me just do one more shuffle. nine of swords yeah somebody is stressing man i'm telling you that jezebel karmic she's all in her damn head all right i feel like she's stressing over love it's like she wants a love offer but she ain't getting it so she now she about to go find love somewhere else she about to find her a new knight of cups okay and that's the truth with the sun she could be out out on the road looking for a nigga right now <laughs> all right or she could get yeah, or she with someone this this person is depressed as hell because day day on friday well i think this is next friday he he's in the security room mad and depressed i see this jezebel karmic they're going to be working at a job and they're going to be depressed as hell somebody's a security guard okay because they are security workers right now in this movie y'all can watch next friday y'all know that scene when they dressed up as top flight security all right so yeah this karmic is at work mad they out here looking for, for niggas and dates and shit they like it just hell it's not to make fun of them but it's true that's and listen they was trying to steal your blessings they were trying to steal your holiness your chalice this is someone that was trying to be like you and they, they're not even on your level no offense all right this cycle is coming to a completion they over here stressing over your your they were stressing over your your blessings and how balanced you are they were stressing on, over how balanced you are. This was a doppelganger. You guys were up against a doppelganger, okay? Straight up and down that was, like, harvesting your energy. And yeah, and I'm telling you, Five of Cups, this person's depressed. They sad over everyone else's happiness because they lonely in the inside. This could be someone that's soulless as well, okay? They jealous of everyone else because they're not happy within and that's why they out here riding around in a car with a whole bunch of niggas or with a nigga okay because they sad and depressed all right and that's the listen that's the truth here but this ace of pentacles i feel like you guys are like i don't because but this ace of pentacles is like a sun okay and i'm getting that i'm using my egyptian tarot i'm just getting you guys woke up today and you guys 
could have woke up to like a manifestation or you know a brand new opportunity and but in the midst of that brand new blessing you guys realize that this person is toxic as fuck you guys could have woke up to a new spiritual gift and you guys started sensing and seeing that this person is really damn toxic like i gotta get them out of my life like you just saw something within them that made you be like i have to let you go you guys have a lot of gifts and talents here that run in your bloodline that's going to spread to your kids and I feel like somebody was jealous of that. Is you, did you tell somebody this stuff? Because they was jealous and they was doing all type of stuff to block your bloodline. All right. If you are masculine or if this is, you know, about your masculine saying how your, your masculine and you going to have like a, a blessed baby. They was doing spell work on your masculine penis so he won't shoot out any damn semen. Shoot, he, I'm getting shoot out blood. Like they were trying to get your person like an STD. That's sick. Or like when you have sex, they'll give you an STD. That's sick. They was manifesting this shit. And they was envisioning that shit to manifest. Like, they was like, that shit gonna work because they're, they was envisioning that shit. Their intention was strong. But your heart and your faith is stronger. That's, it was never gonna manifest. <laughs> but they were trying. Yeah, look, Emperor came out. Somebody was doing heavy magic on your masculine, yo. I told you this shit. This Jezebel was doing hella spells on your masculine. Diva, he, she wanted him to shoot blanks. This was a third party for a lot of you guys. Yeah, look, Temperance came out. That's spirituality. Your person was being spiritually attacked and it was to even shift your person's yo i'm telling you i know what the fuck i'm talking about this queen of swords sitting back laughing smirking i'm telling y'all in my other read somebody doing spell work to change somebody's sexuality and listen when people do certain spells, it will attack your soul, okay? And this person's spells is attacking your soul to switch your sexuality or your person's sexuality. I cannot make this shit up. It's coming out for a reason. Y'all got to get yourselves protected. People have done this shit. People have. You may not hear it all the time, but it, they have. And this is not to make fun of LGBTQ community. It has nothing to do with that, that community. This has nothing to do with it. If a person is truly gay, I will pick that up. I picked it up before. And one of my tourists is reading, I picked up a gay relationship. I pick up gay relationships, not all the time, but when I have, I pick up, it's real. Like, this is how this person feels. This is, this is a spiritual attack. This is a spiritual attack. Anybody that say that I'm making fun of the LGBTQ community because I'm picking up somebody is spiritually attacking someone or you, okay, to make you gay. If you say that, that you, you're just attacking me because that's not what I'm saying. This has nothing to do with their community at all. I'm not advocating against it or for it while I'm, as I'm saying this. And if a gay person doesn't, would not say, oh, magic did it, that means that they was naturally gay. That's how they came onto this planet. But I'm seeing a spiteful witch doing spell work to make someone gay. I came across witches that have done that shit, that try to do it to, you know, my future person. When I meet him, he'll be gay. It was a queen of swords. I'm telling you, that queen of swords, she did it. She put so much hexes and curses on your person so they won't see the way. So they won't go towards their ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Look at all these tens. We got three tens here. Ten of wands. Okay. Hold on. All right, so, yeah. I feel like, I don't know if that's... I know you guys know that people done that with spell work. But there's a particular person that watches that feels like that's not true. Because, I don't know, are you in denial or something? Don't be projecting that shit onto me. But anyway, I feel like, listen. This Queen of Swords is watching your person be stagnant, alright? Or watching you be stagnant, okay? This is a, this is a family, all right, I feel like it's a family around you guys. And, and every time you and your person come around each other, she's watching you two and be thinking like how she's stagnating your, your person. And every time your person will complain to you about what's going on, all right, or, you know, I'm getting like y'all all will talk and your person will like complain about stuff. She will be smirking like I did that. That's because of me. Oh, my spell work is working. Or if this is you confiding in this queen of swords because this is your family. And you telling her about what's going on with you and your person. She's thinking like she did that. All right. Listen, your person's supposed to already be in that Ten of Pentacles vibe. Like, or on the road to it. Your person's supposed to manifest the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Ultimate happiness. I feel like that is what they was chosen to do. But there was some competition 
family here, your family or their family. Y'all got to walk away and start a new beginning together. That's a part of your destiny is you guys walking away together. And I feel like somebody could have made some changes in your destiny. This queen of swords, she was making changes in your life. You're making changes in your life. Story of my life, searching for the right. But to keep control. How would that go? Some listen. This Jezebel, she she that song represents her. She needs to listen to Unfaithful because that's how she she's unfaithful because she's been hurt. She's been searching for Mr. Right, but every time she thought she found Mr. Right, he ended up being Mr. Wrong. And I feel like it's because she's insecure. But some of you guys, this is your sis. She's and she's jealous of you because you can easily find good love and good relationships and you be blessed and you're calm and zen and she's not she's full of anxiety and ungrounded she's jealous of your your energy that's why y'all can't get along eight of swords she don't tell you this shit she don't tell you this shit she don't and she project a lot of stagnancy on you so she can receive <laughs> what it is that she wants it's like it's almost like you guys have a prize at the end of the, the freaking um at the end of the race right and it's like she's cheating and she's pu purposely pushing you out the way so she can grab it. Like, she would do that. She would push you out the way so she can grab her prize. Like, she she doesn't care. She's not thinking about you. She's thinking about herself. That's why you need to separate yourself from them and hang that situation. Set, you know, surrender it. And allow this person to receive karma. All right? Devil here in reverse. Get yourself out of that toxic energy. You need to block the devil. All right? Stop contacting this devil person. All right? And for some of you guys, your person needs to block out the devil. Okay? Period. Yeah, they need to, with this death and king of swords, they need to cut their little dark side out in the sense of not being so wicked and evil towards you. Trying to get back at you and stuff. That lower nature got to be balanced. All right, so they don't know how to use their, their lower nature properly. Seven of swords, so there are a lot of sneakiness. Your person was definitely doing some third party shit. That's why they got caught up with the damn third party, not the third party attacking your person. <laughs> trying to leave your person heartbroken and trying to get back at your person here your person over here trying to get up and work on themselves but they get up feeling grief and sorrow every day it's because this queen of swords attacking your person the fuck <laughs> queen of pentacles okay she wants what it is that your person is meant to have all right or she wants what you what you're meant to have she may want both I'm, <laughs> it's not funny i'm sorry for laughing Oops. i'm sorry for laughing here but I feel like the spirits and the angels could be like, come on now, you got to get it together. You don't see that this person's playing you. Like, because this person, when they come around, they know what they calculated. They know what they're doing. They're the queen of swords. They know what they're doing here. They know how to get this, get your person or to get you. So it's like, you got to see it by now, you guys. I'm not trying to sound cold. But this Queen of Wands, she just comes up. She's a jokester. She's a trickster. But she, it's like, she, it's everything is on purpose. You're the Empress. She's the Queen of Wands here. And she's confused. She's delusional. She thinks she's you and she's not. All right? She's a fool here. And I feel like you're taking a leap of faith towards your destiny. And she said, and your sister put out so many booby traps and death traps for you to fail. That's wrong. That's dead ass wrong. She, she's wrong for that. I'm getting your sister. Okay, one of y'all came in my live today and you said you felt a lot of envy and hate coming from your sister. Okay, and it's that I picked up on it. Y'all picked up on it. Um, y'all saw me pick up on it. So I'm getting that like y'all feel a vibe coming from your family, in particular, it could be a sister or a brother. Okay, it could even be a brother or uncle. It's like your family just flawed, they flawed as hell. Okay, you should have been stopped trusting them. Yeah, you should have been focused on yourself. I'm getting when there be like family functions and stuff. You probably be in the room chilling, doing your own thing. Some some of you guys like to draw or paint. And listen, yo, I swear to God, this whoever this this sister is, she could be a fire sign. Don't have to be, or she just very ex extrav extravagant and you know all about appearances and looks and you know very fancy like. All right, she could definitely be a princess. Y'all can come from royal blood, but she's one of those 
selfish ass princesses. Like y'all ever saw Sophia the first and you know her her big sister? I forgot what her name is. She's like her, but instead of not being compassionate or compromised, this Queen of Wands would not compromise with you. She's pushing you out the way to, to win. And she's gonna push you out the way to heal, I'm hearing. So it's like she's even trying to block you from healing or in the competition with you as far as who can heal the fastest. Yo, you may not see this. You may not see it or expect it. Cause this person is mine. They be tricking you. But I'm I'm still I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. This person is like they give you that impression like they won't do it, but in the back of the mind, they're like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This person don't know me. Watch, watch me do it. And they hard down do the shit. Okay, but anyway, it's like this person's pretending like they're protecting you and they and they're looking out for you. You know, they have their best interest in heart for you, but it's not. I feel like they want all your energy. All right, they want all your energy. They're very protective. They make it seem like they're protecting you. All right, four of wands here. This could be, like I said, at fun family functions and shit, you be to yourself. And this queen of wands be taking all of the attention. And I feel like you didn't really care in the beginning, but I feel like you're realizing, like, damn, like, you used to take all the attention, feeding off my energy. It's like they will get, like, by how they will feed off your energy, it's like they will start off the conversation you know about you all right or talk about you or say something similar that you're interested in i don't know i just feel like they will always use you as a clutch for shit like oh yeah divine feminine or masculine can do it yeah divine feminine masculine this like that shit and they even use you as a third wheel i'm getting like you need to be there with them you know whenever they they do shit like they draining your energy that's what i'm picking up like this person at least they used to all right, until you started to see, like, you using the hell out of me. And ever since then, they've been attacking your ass. They've been attacking your spirit because you set boundaries. What the fuck? I mean, some of you guys, you are afraid that they're going to do this after you cut them off. They're already doing it anyways. What you, what's stopping you now? What's stopping you now, okay? So, anyway, um, Queen of Cups is here. Your masculine is thinking about you. Y'all could be water signs. They always thinking about you. Manifesting. Yeah, they always manifesting here. Manifesting new shit. They could even be writing shit down that y'all gonna do in the future. Whoa, that they your person could be calculated too. They could be brainy and smart. I feel like they do love you, but y'all just was going through a messy ass situation. But we have the ace of wands and the queen of wands. I feel like, yo, I'm telling you, man, this queen of wands, she fake as hell. This is why you didn't know that she was even against you and your person. Because at probably one point, she tried to make it seem like, uh-uh, no, my my sister's taken or my um, my friend is taken. You can't you can't get my, my friend. And they only did that because they're around you. And they know that you're dating your 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 counterpart. But the moment that you left, they was like, I really don't like my person's, um, I mean, my, my person's, my sister or my bro or my friend person. I really feel like that person can do better. You know, they can find somebody that look better, that dress better. Like, they was, they was trashing your person behind your back. They was, and you can feel it. You can feel it in your soul. Like, I know that's what you did, bro. I know, I know it. I know I ain't stupid. Not anymore. That's what I'm getting for some of you guys. Some of y'all could be earth signs. You have the emperor here. Eight of cups. Wow. It's like, wow, I'm, yo, yo, I'm, I'm telling you, bruh, your family sacrificed you. They sacrificed your soul for some shit to a deity or maybe like a god or a goddess. And it's attached to you. I told y'all somebody used Frida. Frida is attached to your masculine's heart and is making your masculine a bit fruity. And no, he's not gay, but he feel it because that's Frida. <laughs> if your family fuck with Santeria, Voodoo, Ifa, okay, they, they, they sent Frida after you and your person. And it's a, she attached herself to your person. It was essentially to break you and your person up or it could even have been a sacrifice. Okay, if you a man, uh, hold on, let me not mix it up. Hold on, let me keep going with this part. She used Frida and she attached Frida to your person to separate y'all and to make your person G-A-Y. Okay, that's not for everyone. Take it out, resonate. Only if your family fuck with that side of the, um, of magic. Now, for all of you guys, your person, not your person, your family could have sacrificed your soul. And it's like there's an attachment, Okay. And that's why this person always has power and control over you. 
because they, they there's some attachment there i gotta go oh my god yeah it's somebody in your family for sure that's been spiting you all right and spiting your connection here you need to put that to an ending if you want to move forward in life you may not listen but that's what i'm picking up i'm getting for some of you not you for some of you guys if this is like your person going through this they're not gonna listen they're not gonna listen here but it is what it is y'all just need to walk away from that I, i'm what i was getting with that sexuality is that somebody wanted you to walk away from your masculinity all right and we have the Ace of Wands and start something new. And we have the Queen of Cups. So if you are a masculine, this woman was trying to shift you into a woman. I'm telling you, I promise to God, it's almost like it. Oh, my gosh. She was just being spiteful. Y'all don't have to believe this is, you know, this is obviously not for everyone. You guys know how this will resonate for you. I picked up that people try to use spell work to make someone gay before. I channeled it. And I channeled actual gay people in their soul. And I picked up, like, yeah, this person is gay. And they're they're gay because of whatever reason or because they enjoy that, that sexual preference. So this is not me making shit up. I'm being dead serious. But I love y'all so much. Namaste.